I'm going to start producing all those parts first. So if I look at this picture uh, with the intention of uh, having a sort of some sort of idea what I have to do first, that means what I need to use at the end, I have to do it first. I'm going to start uh, from the bird wings because I want to get the bird wings complete dry uh, to join them into the body. So when I'm doing birds, I'm going to I'm going to shape the body. And uh, in my hand, I will have a just freshly shaped body. In the other hand, I have already dry wings. I'm going to just touch the egg white a little bit and pocket it in and stays on the position. I don't have to worry about nothing at all. So that's why I'm going to do the bird wings first. So uh, I have here a small little uh, plastic sheet. I'm going to use this one to cover the rolled pastillage to get it always uh, keep it soft so I can continue to work multiple pieces. So I just take the, this pastillage already uh, condition in microwave. As I mentioned before, I'm telling you this again. Uh, if you have a 500 gram pasta lunch, you need 25 seconds in the microwave to get it right. So I uh, just put it there and uh, take it out some. Okay, uh, this is my guidance. I draw this before. So I have to draw the pasta lunch about this size, approximately about uh, one and a half to two millimeters. So you have a, give always a good knit and don't use starch in this case because we're not putting in something very large and uh, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, uh, oil spray. Pasteurage is a very good condition at the moment because it's soft, pliable, at the same time it's cold. Do not intend to roll all in once. You have to always make it short steps. Push it three times and after that remove, give some air underneath and roll it again. I think it's good now. So One line in the middle. This is my guidance. Two line here. I'm going to make eight birds. So I need how many? Sixteen wings. Okay, now that's very important. How much is the angle? So I just put it over here. That's one, that's two, this, you can also use this one, a few more, just right with one extra, two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, that's enough. Just got one more here, maybe I need one more extra here. So, it's not the same shape, but it doesn't matter, the numbers are correct. Alright, now at this stage, what I like to do, just kind of like a little bit of fat over here. Because I'm not going to make any kind of airbrush or color on top, I can just make it a little bit oily, doesn't matter. And I put this uh, plastic sheet on top, and I have a really relaxed time, so I can just take one by one out and work it out. So how are we going to do that? It's like that. Open this up and grab one and close up again. So make sure that this is completely closed. There's no air comes in between. 
you can work with that quite a long time. Now, holding this way, and then having a scissor. I never cut the scissor like this. Never, never do this one. You have to go, always just cut, and then before the scissor complete close, and stop. So just go till the end, starting from quite long one, goes quite a uh, shorter one here at the end, and then just go a little bit of bending like this, bending like that, and then use the roller, and then make the end bits a little bit thinner. So it gives also like a bit more natural look. Like that. And use that scissor again, open up a little bit, slightly, and then push this one in like this. So it gives a kind of indication that where the where the feathers are starting. And then also like second line. Like that. Just keep some pushes like this. And you take the scissor. And as I explained here, that's part here. Slightly cutting like this, round, and remove that part. So this is my first wing, and place it here, that direction. So I'm going to continue this one eight times this way. Now I finish the older right hand side, uh, 8 I need it, but I make it 9, so I'm going to start with the other side. It's exactly the same thing, so I take one out here, and also I cut it exactly from the same, because this is comfortable position to cut, right? I'm not going to turn around and cut like this, just go like that, do exactly the same thing, and when you're doing this, you turn other side. The cut also same. Oops, forgot. Do this. So sorry, do this one. Okay. And then when we put in here, this time we put in the other brush. So this all done. So we continue another nine from the other side. So practically I do exactly the same thing, just cut with the same position. And when I'm rolling this, just go other side, push this one down. And marking also from other side, the indentations also from other side, and you can also cut from the original side we did, then turn around and then go this way. 
So as you see that this is opposite, mirror effect. Okay, this is my last piece on the other side. So, uh, as you see, that the uh, pastel are still in perfect condition because we protect it with that uh, plastic sheet. So, it didn't dry at all. So, uh, last thing is just still uh, perfect. And then just go down like this, uh, make it nice and flat on the end. And uh, sometimes when, you, when you're cutting, uh, you can see that this is not really equal cuttings and also not, not exactly the same, everyone. It doesn't really matter because it's just like uh, creating something natural. Just make sure that these things are nice and uh, long at the end. It gives a nearly good stretch to the left and right to make the birds really live. <laughs>